today is one of those days that has the potential to be just like all the days you remember a year by. Every year has a signature event. Uh, 2014 had Pilgrim, 2013 El Reno Moore, 2012 Cherokee. Uh, 2015 could be May 16th, 2015. That's the possibility. Uh, big time threat of severe weather in western Oklahoma. Uh, long track, strong, violent tornadoes are possible. Numerous thunderstorms. It's going to be a confusing chase, but it's going to be a very high risk kind of endeavor for us. Uh, it's going to be big tornadoes today. We got to find them, uh, and we're going to. That's going to be that's going to be what happens. Even just by the fact James is a stabilizer, it's going to happen, and uh, it's going to be a day once again that as long as everything keeps coming together, we're not going to soon forget. Both May 16th. This is prime time for severe weather. Um, it had all the promises of a big tornado day, 15% hatched all the way from Kansas down to Texas. And uh, we targeted Southwest Oklahoma into West Texas, kind of by Childress. Today's setup is the most volatile storm system of the season thus far. Strong wind shear will combine with an extremely unstable air mass to set the stage for what appears to be an imminent tornado outbreak from the Texas Panhandle into western Oklahoma. Numerous storms will form along a dry line with severe weather quickly possible. For the Titans, today is a day where they will have to play many different storms and hope their timing is right. It's an outbreak chase day and the rules are certainly different. Storms are taking shape well out to our west. They're not going to mature until they get into western Oklahoma here in this better air. They're not going to get really good. So it's all about patience and not over committing right now. We got to stay committed to uh, being patient. And if we can do that, today's going to work out marvelously. Uh, if there's going to be tornadoes out here, we just got to be ready. So we're going to sit here and be patient. Low level winds are stronger than anticipated. Anyways, uh, we've got a really good moist environment. Uh, reminds me a lot of a Dixie Alley day in a lot of ways with really strong wind shear, good instability, but very low LCLs. Uh, storms have fired, actually produced a tornado already in the Texas Panhandle. And what we're waiting on right now is to see what happens the rest of the afternoon. We're here with our friends from Portugal, we're having a good time. And probably about, probably in our 30 minutes, we're going to start heading in direction. I don't know which way yet though, so that's what I'm debating. going to try to get on this first storm and then we're going to continue uh, south. There's going to be many supercells and many tornado reports through here. So we're just going to try to bounce down the line. Very classic move. We've done this dozens of times and it's just that's the plan right now. There's a storm to our south and we're about to head toward it. It's uh, got all the hallmarks of getting going. So and it's going to be isolated. Probably going to produce tornadoes. We're about to head south right now. We've got a storm coming up on us. It's got a wall cloud into the rain there a little bit and a little bit of scud pushing out probably along the RFD and we're just going to watch it and see what it does as it gets closer. Uh, I think we'll be fine as far as rain. These roads are not going to be good when that happens. But yeah, that's that's our storm right there. See focus mapping. That's tough to do when you're this far away too. Yeah. I spent 12 years as a professional photojournalist and got my aim license since 2007. <laughs> I haven't been on the air in two years. Uh, actually, two years. This storm It doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good at all. And wh wh what the problem is, is that this storm looks very cold and it just doesn't look like the type of storm that's going to produce a big tornado. Radar is very clear. There is a large tornado in progress and possibly a damaging tornado uh, southwest of Tipton. We are flying to get there as quick as we can. I know that when we get close, we are going to see something incredible. When we blast the west, you could just see out in the distance the classic barber pole structure. And it, when we got closer, it became apparent that this was a different type of supercell. This was an amazing supercell. It had a massive alligator's mouth to it. <laughs> coming in that there was a wedge on the ground and 
when we got west of Tipton, uh, we can actually get a view of the tornado. And it, the funny thing is, is the tornado, even though it was not wrapped in rain, it was very hazy out. So you could tell that it was there, but you really couldn't get good contrast. And so a lot of people struggled with getting good video that day because of the contrast. Large tornado ongoing now, southwest of Tipton, Oklahoma. Oh yeah, it's coming over the tree line. We better get RFD was coming, uh, pretty wet RFD and strong, so we ended up uh, heading east and going just north of town to try to get another view of it, and that's when Chris Sander pulls up with his group, and uh, I was with Brandon. He's like, hey guys, and uh, this is while a big multi-vortex tornado is going on, and uh, RFD is coming again, and it's very menacing looking, and uh, Sander ends up saying, don't El Reno it, and uh, that's when we ended up deciding to go east again. Sometimes on outbreaks, you get this kind of a situation where it's obvious you're in the wrong spot and where you need to be is going to be a rush. And that's where we're at right now. We're driving south and uh, passing up storm after storm after storm. I know where the storm of the day is. It's down south. It's that storm on the Red River. We've got to get there. May 16th uh, started out a little frustrating. Uh, you know, storms weren't really going that quickly. Um, but once the, once tornadoes started going on that Tipton storm, it was great. You know, and the visibility could have been better. But for May, it was fantastic. Oklahoma Day once again, and Oklahoma has really produced this year for us. Very fortunate that we came out the way we did, and we saw that big tornado and then uh, got another glimpse of it later. Even got to meet up with Chris and the gang. Uh, just can't really ask for a better day. So welcome to Chasing in Southwestern Oklahoma. A day like today is a huge day. Uh, it was a big day. There's a big risk area, a lot of storms, and you managed to be on the right one. You know, a lot of people were, but it was nice to not only be on the right storm, but two right storms. Very successful day, a great day. 2015 is just rolling right now and uh, hope we can keep this momentum going because right now we're after a pretty big year.